Watch out. So let's talk about the ducks in the pond at Central Park because it's a very important part of the book. It's at the pond that we see a big change in Holden. Now, Holden, throughout most of the story, he sounds really angry. He's like a grumpy old man who hates everything. And that's actually why a lot of readers and you guys here have disliked him. But when Holden sees the ducks, we get a whole different side to him. He's curious, and curious about, of all things, ducks. And we can see the real child in him. Does anybody have any questions? Adrian? Didn't we... Never mind. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? You guys are good? You feeling confident? Okay. You guys are dismissed. You can go. Was today's class a review? Mm, no. I think it was all new material. Why? I don't know. I could have sworn we went over it already. No, I don't think so. Do you want to go grab a bite? Yeah. <laughs> so what's new, Brian? Not much. Just got my new car. Again? Didn't you just get a new one? No, the last one I got was like three years ago. Are you sure? Adrian, I'm pretty sure I know when I got my cars. They cost me enough. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Probably just tired. More coffee? Sure. He's like a grumpy old man who hates everything. And that's actually why a lot of readers hear him. But Holden. Um, I'm gonna have a cheeseburger. This whole week, you've been coming in like a complete mess. You come in looking like you haven't gotten any sleep and full of anxiety. I know, I know, but what am I supposed to do? I just can't shake this feeling that everything has happened already. Even this exact conversation. Maybe you should go see a doctor. Maybe it's something neurological. Or... I guess. I'm willing to try anything at this point. Okay. I see. Well, your blood pressure is a bit elevated, but considering what you've told me, it's to be expected. Now, how long have you been feeling this way? About a week. About a week. Uh, and did anything notable happen around this time? Not really. Well, I mean, but no, that was nothing. What was nothing? Well, I almost got hit by a car, but this guy pulled me out of the way. It didn't even touch me, though. Mm. Well, that could explain it. What do you mean? Do you ever hear of paramnesia? No. Mm, it's more commonly called deja vu. Oh, yeah, but I've had deja vu before. It feels different. And it would. It's possible that this is paramnesia, brought on by a traumatic event, bringing on the feeling a bit stronger than usual, which would explain why it doesn't feel like your typical deja vu. And what this does, this makes the feeling feel a bit different, a bit stronger. But within that, that's why it doesn't feel like your typical deja vu. Like your typical deja vu. Well, how do I stop it? Well, we would have to get out to the root of the problem. Now, I'm going to send you to this specialist. She specializes in post-traumatic issues. Okay. Okay? 
All right, actually, if you give her a call now, she might be able to take you in. Thanks, Doc. No problem. Be sure to follow up, okay? So that's why I'm here. Hmm. I can see how that would be quite frustrating. Yeah. Now, how do you remember feeling when you thought the car was about to hit you? Wow, we're uh, jumping straight into that, huh? Well, not if you don't feel ready. I mean, we can talk about whatever you like. Say, what kind of music do you listen to? Lots of different kinds, I guess. Your son must have been really excited when he won his first away game. Excuse me? Your son. He must have... I'm sorry, how do you know that? You must have mentioned it earlier. I definitely did not. You must have, I mean... Miss, Miss Malice, I think you should leave. I'm sorry? And I will find a doctor better able to suit you. Wait, what's going on? What's going on here is that you obviously found a way to peek into my personal life. Online, I suppose. I find this upsetting, and I believe you may have other underlying issues. That's ridiculous. I didn't do- Adrian, please. I think you should leave. Or else I'm gonna get someone to make you. Oh my, you're finally awake. Where am I? The hospital, dear. You were in a terrible accident, hit by a car. Which time? I'm sorry? I mean, what, what, day, what day was the accident? Oh, let me check. Hmm, I see. One moment. What do you mean? What, what's wrong? Doctor? Yes? Subject 16 is awake. Uh, good, thank you. I'll be right there. 